Now when you rotate an item in three dimensions, it can be flipped over. By default, the browser will render the back of an element as a mirror image of the front. So let's illustrate that with an example. If you can open backface.html in the working files folder, you'll see this page demonstrates flipping over a playing card using CSS3. Now we have an outer element for our card. Then we have a front, which displays the ace of hearts. And then we have a back, which is blank other than showing flip me. Now all the rotation styles are shown here. For completeness, I've included all the WebKit properties and I'm applying perspective to both the front and back of the card to ensure that it works in IE10. Now the back of the card starts unrotated, but the front is flipped 180 degrees, so it's face down. Now actually you'll notice that it's 179.9 degrees, and that's because I always want it to flip in the same direction. Browsers generally use the shortest path to complete a rotation, but if I use 180 degrees, the browser could flip the card either way, and that will spoil the effect. Now when we hover the card, here and here, the rotations are reversed, so the back is flipped down and the front is flipped up. So let's see it in action. Ah, that's not what we wanted. While the front and the back are being flipped correctly, the back always remains on top and its reverse is rendered by the browser. Fortunately, we can tell the browser to hide an element when it's reversed using the back face visibility property. And it can be passed either visible, which is the default effect, or hidden, which is what we want. So let's apply it to both the front and back of the card. We'll include the WebKit style and the standard one for Firefox and IE. We'll save that, refresh, and flip over. And there you go. So the back is now hidden when it's reversed and the front is visible. Now, as you can see, we have a very pleasing animated effect, which works in all modern browsers, uses relatively little code, and absolutely no scripting. So I hope you're now asking how we achieve this animation. Well, keep watching and you'll find out.